there has been a generous impulse by so many Americans to want to donate to Ukrainians whose country is now at war with Russia. But as with many a disaster, it triggers the desire to help. Scammers are waiting to jump in too. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl guides us through the scams and how to avoid them. Dana? Yep. So what we're going to do is hit on some of the top scams, how to recognize them, and the longstanding go-to spots for donations. Let's start right here. Airbnb. It's a legitimate website, and most of the listings on it are legit, too. But many people were clever. They tried to book stays in Ukraine once the war started, and then they didn't go. Instead, they would tell their host, keep the money. Use it as a donation to help in your humanitarian crisis. And that is amazing. But here's where the scam comes. Uh, watchdog groups say new listings that are popping up are now fake. So your money could be going anywhere to people in the world, but not necessarily to the people of Ukraine in need. If you plan to use this method, and it's still a good method, make sure it's a host or a listing that's been with the site a long time and not an account that has just been started. Now, when you see those help Ukraine social media posts, you gotta be really wary of those too. Remember, anybody can make any one of those. Heck, it could be used by someone, say, in Russia to reroute that funding to themselves. Anybody can do it. So let's look at the tried and true places where you can check this stuff out. There's Charity Navigator. It's always been the go-to for vetting a charity. The site even has a section specifically dedicated to the Ukrainian-Russian conflict. It even breaks the giving opportunities into specific categories. Maybe you want to stick with you know, the medical area, whatever it is that's important to you. And then it rates the charity, gives it stars. There's also something called Candid. It's a site which is connected to the Council on Foundations. It offers a resource guide for grant offers. Obviously, that's a bit deeper than just a donation, but if that's, you know, something, the direction you're moving to, that is your resource right there. So please just double check, check out the group's worthiness before you hand over what's really your hard earned money. And obviously, so many people in America want to do the right thing by folks. There are too many people want to take advantage of that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like what you said. The impulse to help is so great. You just have to do your homework. Yeah. And groups like Candid and Charity Navigator do the work for you. They are great resources. Just, you know, stick with what you know. Yeah. These social media posts that pop up are really, in, in my view, the sketchy ones. Sure. Because you don't know you where don't. it's going to end up. No, you for don't. Sure. Yeah. So you good don't. to know about these. All right. Thanks for the mm -hmm. help, Dana. We appreciate it.